this is Mushradi and you are watching Mushraj Process YouTube channel. We are uploading the videos especially for the students who are going to write scholarship exam in this month. That is NMMS exam. Already we have uploaded many important videos. You can check the link in the description box. In this video, I am going to explain how to deal with one interesting question. And in this question, most of the students, they waste their precious time. And the question is regarding the dice. Yes. There are the questions related to the dice. They give either two dice figures or three dice figures or four dice figures and ask you one question that which is the number opposite to three or the number opposite to four or the number opposite to six. And with the help of the given figures, you have to find. And in this question, students, they really waste their precious time in thinking, okay, which number is beside this? Which number is beside this? So which number is going to be behind this? And to solve this, we have one interesting shortcut trick. Of course, our videos are there to explain such shortcut tricks. So how to deal with such questions? How to find the number opposite to the given number? So Without wasting time, let's start the today's concept that is the question related to the dice. But before I explain this interesting trick, I want all of you to subscribe our channel so that you will get the regular updates of such interesting and useful videos. One most important thing, I want all of you to watch this video till end. Yes, because I am going to tell you one most important point at the end of this video. Yes, one important trick, one important hint you can say. So for that, you have to watch this video till end to understand this trick properly. So now, let's start with this today's concept. Now the one thing, see whenever we use the dice for playing, we use the standard dice. Yes, most of the time we use standard dice. Now what is the meaning of standard dice? Just observe, just observe the number of dots on each face. And in standard dice, we find that the numbers which are opposite to each other, then sum up to 7. Yes, the sum of the numbers opposite to each other is 7. Means exactly opposite to 1, there is going to be 6. Exactly opposite to 2, there is going to be 5. And exactly opposite to 3, there is going to be 4. So, if you check such standard dice, you will find such combination. But these questions are not based on the standard dice. Yes, 99% of the questions here are not based on the standard dice. Here, the questions are related to general dice. General dice means what? They don't follow this rule that the sum of the numbers opposite to each other is 7. No, such dice, they don't follow these rules. But still, we can find the number opposite to the given number. So now, let me explain this trick. Now here, our question is, find the number opposite to 4. Now we find here 3 figures, okay. The dice from 3 different angles is given here and we have to find the number opposite to 4. So here, I have drawn the rough figure, okay. Now what we have to do here is, as I am going to explain the shortcut trick. What we have to do here is just find the common number in any two figures. Now let's compare this. Now in these two figures, 1 as well as 6 is common. So we can take any one. Let's take 1. So write 1 and 1. This one is for this dice and this one is for this dice. Now what we have to do next? Just go clockwise. Okay, go clockwise. After 1, the number is 4 and after that, the number is 6. Let's write these numbers. 4 and 6. So, even in this case, we will do the same thing. After 1 is 6 and after that is 5. Actually, the numbers what we get here are opposite to each other. But if we check here, okay. 4, 6, 5, 1 we have and the remaining number is opposite to this. But 
this case is not possible. Why? Here, this combination tells us that opposite to 4 is 6 and opposite to 6 is 5. This is not possible. Okay. Because two numbers cannot be the opposite side of the same number. So, this condition, it fails. So, while using this trick, you have to also cross verify whether this is possible or no. So, here this combination fails. So, now let's compare first and last. Now, in these two figures, we have 5 common. Let's write this. 5, 5. Now, here after 5, clockwise, 3 and 2. 3 and 2. In this case, 1 and 6. 1 and 6. And the remaining number, I'll write here. Because 1, 2, 3, 5, 6 we have. And the remaining number I wrote here. This means opposite to 5 is 4. Now, this tells us that opposite to 3 is 1. Opposite to 2 is 6. And opposite to 5 is 4. Now, let's check whether this is possible or no. Means how we have to check? This combination tells us that 3 and 1 are opposite to each other. 2 and 6 are opposite to each other. 4 and 5 are opposite to each other. Means we have to check that this combination should not be the neighboring numbers. Means it should not be side by side. Sometimes we get here 2 and 6 opposite to each other. But in the given figure we find 2 is here, 6 is here. So again this fails. But now if we check here, 3 and 1, 3 and 1, they are not side by side, 2 and 6, even they are not the adjacent numbers, 4 and 5, okay, even they are not adjacent to each other. So, this is the right combination, okay, this is the right combination, opposite to 5 is 4, opposite to 3 is 1, opposite to 2 is 6 and what is our question? Our question is to find number opposite to 4. So here number opposite to 4 is 5. So this is how we have to get the answer. How to find the number opposite to the given number. So now let us check one more example of this same type. Now in this example we have to find number opposite to 3. Okay, again I have drawn the rough sketch of this dice. We have to find the number opposite to 3. Okay, now let's compare this first two figures. Here 6 and 6 is common. So let us write 6 and 6. 3, 5, we have to write the numbers in clockwise direction. 4, 1. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6. The remaining number 2 will come here. Now this tells us that 2 and 6 are opposite to each other. 3 and 4 are opposite to each other. 5 and 1 are opposite to each other. Now let's check whether these numbers are adjacent numbers or no. Means whether they are on the adjacent faces. 3 and 4? No. 5 and 1? No. 2 and 6? No. This means this is the right combination. So the number opposite to 3 here is 4. Now, we can even cross verify this. Okay. Just in few seconds, we can also check with the other combination. Now, in this two case, 1 and 1 is common. Let's write here the next numbers. 6 and 4. 2 and 3. 2 and 3 and the remaining number, 5. Now, we get the same answer in both of these cases. See, 2 and 6 are opposite. 2 and 6 are opposite. 3 and 4 are opposite to each other. 3 and 4 are opposite to each other. 5 and 1 are opposite. 5 and 1 are opposite to each other. This means here both the combinations are correct. So when you come across such questions, okay, and when you compare, one combination may go wrong. But you are going to get definitely one combination with the correct answer. Means one combination is going to be 100% correct. Or all the combinations are going to be 100% correct. Yes. Whatever two, three types you try here, it's going to be correct. 
or at least one is going to be 100% correct. So you have to try till you get the right combination. And once you get the answer, you have to check with the given figures. So this is the shortcut trick to find the number opposite to the given number. Now let's check with the four less. Let's check with the four figures. We saw the two examples with the three figures. Now let's check one last example with four combinations. Now in this third and last example, we have to find the number opposite to three. Let's find the number opposite to three using our trick. Now here we have different combinations. Let's compare first two. We have 6 and 5 common. Anything we can take. Let's take 6. Let's write the number in clockwise direction. 5 and 4. 5 and 4. In this 5 and 3. 5 and 3. The remaining number 1. Now it's clear that this fix is not correct. Why? Because we are getting 5 and 5 opposite to each other. So this fix. Let's compare uh, first and third. Now in this first and third, we have four common. Let's write four. After four, six, five. Here after four, two and one. Two and one. So opposite to four, we get three. Let's check whether this is the right combination or no. Let's compare whether three and four are an adjacent figure 3 4 3 4 no it's not there 6 2 6 2 it's not there 5 1 oh here it's 5 and 1 this shows that 5 and 1 are opposite to each other but this figure tells us that 5 and 1 are adjacent figures so even this fits let's try one more combination um now let's compare second and fourth in this case, we have 5 and 5 common. Let's write this 5. 5, 3, 6. And in this case, 1, 4. Okay. Now, remaining number 2 will come here. Now, this tells that 2 and 5 are opposite to each other. 3 and 1 are opposite to each other. 6 and 4 are opposite to each other. Now, let's check whether... It's the right combination or no. 2 and 5, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2, 5. No, they are not adjacent. 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1. No. 6, 4. Oh, here is 6, 4. This means even this fits. So now, by one more different method, we have to check this. Now here, in this first case, we compare first and second. Now in this case, we compare this first and third. And in this case, we compare second and fourth. Now we have to check for one more combination to get the correct answer. Let's compare first and last. Okay, let's compare first and last. Now in this case, any number that is we have four as well as 5 common. Let's take 4. 4. 4. Here. 4. 6. 5. 6. 5. And here. 5. 1. 5. 1. And number opposite to this is going to be 3. Okay. Now this tells us that 6 is opposite to 5. And 5 is opposite to 1. Oh my god. Even this face. Yes, you may come across like this situation in exam and you have to deal with such questions in less time. So you have to be very quick in writing the answer. All these combinations are failing. So how to get the right answer? How to get the right answer for this? Now, let's come back to the definition of our standard dice. What the definition of our standard dice says that the sum of the opposite faces is 7. So, how to check whether we are dealing with the standard dice or whether we are dealing with the general dice. 
Now, if we come to our previous question. Now, if we have a look to our previous question, just check the questions. Our first example, okay, just check. In our first example, in the first dice, 2 and 5 are neighboring, means that sum is 7, okay. Here the sum is 7, so this is not the standard dice. Now, in second example, just check the second example. So, even in this case, the second figure, 1 and 6 are adjacent to each other and their sum is 7. The most important trick I am telling you at the last. So, whenever you get come across the figure, just check whether the sum of the adjacent figure is 7 or no. If it is 7, then the question is based on generalized. If it is not 7, then the question is based on standardized. So, here in general, okay, in short, the question is based on standardized. So, I just solve these four types only to tell you that if the question is based on standard dice, we will not get the answer by this way. So here, in this case, 1 is opposite to 6, 2 is opposite to 5 and 3 is opposite to 4. Even here, 3 is opposite to 4, 1 is opposite to this 6 and 2 is opposite to 5. Even here, opposite to this 4 is 3, opposite to 1 is 6 and opposite to 2 is 5. So, this question is based on standard dice. So, here in this case, the number opposite to 3 straight away is 4. So, before solving, just check whether the question is based on standard dice or general dice. If it is standard dice, no need to solve by this method. Straight away write the answer. And if it is general dice, then use this trick. Because in general dice, Definitely you are going to get the answer by this trick. So this video was quite helpful to you. Don't forget to share this video among your friends because this is going to be very helpful to solve the questions related to dice. So to get the updates of such useful and interesting videos, what you have to do is subscribe to our channel. And my dear students, thank you so much for watching this video.